Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy, Virgo, or welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you so much for being with me here today. Uh, we are going to be looking at who is coming towards you. So this is super, super exciting for those wanting to see who is your next lover um, and what we can learn about this person, what they look like, what they do, um, what they enjoy, anything we can learn or anything sort of very specific about them that will help you sort of... Um, uncover if this person is coming in for romance so this is intended for the earth signs watching um, and also to the cross watchers maybe um, if you enjoy this content please don't forget to drop a like or subscribe to the channel if you'd like to sign up for membership to gain access to extended versions and bonus readings please feel free to do so via the join button on my channel um, if you are after a private reading with me, please feel free to email me. Now, um, my email is in the About Me section and also below uh, in the description box. Um, I am currently accepting private readings, so if that's something that you're wanting, um, please feel free to reach out. So I have laid out some cards here for you, Earth Signs, um, and these ones that, uh, were the ones that I felt were most symbolic of the person that's coming in for love and romance. So... The overall energy, the way this person is presenting themselves is is as the Emperor. So this is a strong Aries presence about this person. So you really have someone who's a very powerful um, energy or a very powerful personality that's coming your way. Now, normally Emperors are intimidating. So I feel like straight away this person oozes intimidation. Could be their work. It could be their looks. It could be their mannerisms, the way they carry themselves they have this profound energy about them. So instantly you're going to be intimidated. You're going to get nervous around them. Um, they have a lot going for them, um, especially if they're like this Aries energy. This person I get straight away is not going to be like they're easily accessible. So they may even in some parts be like, you may even feel at times that they're out of your league. So profound energy, possibly under an Aries. Um, they really command your attention is what I'm getting, or they're going to be really like in your face, like relentlessly, like obsessed with you, want you um, type energy. Now they have the star card around them, so they could have Aquarian energy in their chart, but this tells me it's a destined connection. I also feel like this person could be in the limelight. So they could be famous, they could be a minor celebrity, they may have a lot of people following them. They could have star qualities. Um, so they, they could be trying to chase the fame game here. They may be trying to land a record deal. There is something out there that they, that they want to share with the world. Could also be that like their photos are public, they've got a public LinkedIn profile, they've got images on Google, they're somehow known, um, they could be involved in media, music, fashion, the written word, film, anything that sort of um, propels this person to stardom or fame um, is coming up around them. Could also be healing, so they may be currently in an energy of healing from a traumatic event, um, a breakup or something of that nature. King of Pentacles is coming up, so it's strong Taurus energy. Uh, this person, I'm getting an older vibe from them. So they could be a few months or a few years older than you. Uh, but Taurian energy tells me they're very romantic. They're also big on like fine food, nice music, culture. Um, they dress well. There's an elegance about this person, a maturity and an elegance. They may own their own home uh, or they own their own car. They like expensive things or they like to look after um, their things. It's like, um, it's love and money. So now, now for some of you, it could be that you're connecting through work and maybe that's the combination of love and money, um, earth signs. So you might be meeting through those sorts of avenues. Could be like a work romance type thing that turns into something more. This person is looking for the real deal though. They, they're actually at a point in their life where they want to settle down. And they're going to tell you this with the queen of swords. They're going to be like an open book. They'll tell you how they feel. They tell you what they want in their life. They're a great communicator. They could know multiple languages, maybe. Uh, they like to gossip or they've got a very wide social circle. So I'm getting a bit of a bit of a social butterfly um, is coming up here. I also get that they may use their words a lot for work uh, or they speak a lot like a teacher, a professor, um, someone who's on the microphone, someone in customer service, someone who's client based. Something about a lot of people being around them or something even about the written word. They could be a writer or they could enjoy writing a blog um, or just writing in their journal. Speech and the mind is coming up 
um, to this person, but they could also be anxious at times. There may be an anxiety um, that they have because that Queen of Swords can sometimes be a nervous kind of energy. So I'm wondering if they at times um, get nervous. You could make them nervous even. Um, but I feel for the most part they are quite articulate. So they could know to over-exaggerate things at times as well. So when they're telling a story, they might add a few juicy bits and pieces, a few juicy details um, to make it more interesting. But there is something about the way that they speak that you're going to really enjoy. You may even be in touch with this person already. You may even be speaking to them. Um, or communication wise, you're going to have similar interests and you'll hit it off. You'll, you'll, you'll get their sense of humor. They'll get yours. There'll be that banter that exists between the both of you. The next cut over is the hangman. I do want to feel, I do want to say like, I feel like there's someone here who may have had a previous conviction. So they might've had like, they've been in trouble with the law. Uh, maybe they help people have, who have like sort of fallen down in life, like the homeless, the despair, the, the, the redundant. So there could be like this helping kind of attitude, or maybe it's something they've experienced in their life. Um, and they've sort of had to pick themselves up. They may have been through something where they felt like they were at their lowest point in their life. Um, and you know, this might've been homelessness, uncertainty. Um, the hangman is like some sort of punishment. So I feel like they've done time maybe, uh, or they've been punished for something in their life. And there might be something very intimate about them that they like have guilt for. Like maybe they'll say to you, they'll open up and say, I have guilt for uh, my ex-partner. I have guilt for, you know, my, that person dying or I have guilt you know they feel some sort of guilt or responsibility that they still carry within them internally and yeah I mean that's pretty pretty intimate but I think you'll eventually you'll come to learn about this and what that stands for um for them mm. they might also like enjoy changing things like flipping homes um you know, flipping cars, um, taking something, painting it, making it beautiful and then reselling, you know, they might be in some sort of like, they could be a good fixer upper type thing. So it may be as a hobby, could be like as a work profession, um, could also be athletic. Okay. Um, like to be at the gym, yoga, you know, these contortionist moves. So, um, you know, they may enjoy the circus, these sort of bizarre movements, um, is what I'm getting that maybe they enjoy doing. Next cut over is they have the Wheel of Fortune. So um, luck is on their side or they're supposed to be very lucky in life. Lucky with love, lucky with money, um, just lucky in their day to day. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, they have like a time. I'm getting that they have like a time limit or a time line of where they want to be in life. It's like they sort of have the future planned out. Like in five years time, I want to do this. In 10 years time, I want to be there. 15 years, I want to have X, Y, and Z. And they'll probably open up and tell you this. It's something that they they want. It's like they have this vision for their life and they'll do anything to chase it. And they're chasing their dreams. They have that star card, the Wheel of Fortune. They are currently chasing their dreams. But they're at a very particular time in their life, especially when the both of you connect and meet and start a relationship. It's going to be at a very specific time in their life. Um, and I think it's going to be at a good time. Things will just fall into place. And it'll almost seem like effortless the way you guys will come together. A spiritual or religious energy around them so maybe they're a follower of God um, a, a certain uh, spiritual leader um, or a certain way of living life like a life philosophy they're like an avid follower of that you know that's where their faith lies um, and that's where their devotion is with that uh, wheel of fortune but there's like a cancer and a Capricorn element to that card so they may um, be one of those signs maybe for some of you the next card over is the Ace of Wands, so strong fire energy, Aries, Sag, or Leo. Um, Ace of Wands could indicate that this person is a go-getter um, and that they like new, exciting things. They like new and exciting experiences. So this person isn't too routine or probably isn't too mundane. Um, they like to mix things, up, mix things up and they're always up for trying new things. So they have an adventurous side to them. And that can be in the bedroom, that can be in life, that could be in dare, um, daring activities. They could be a bit of an adrenaline junkie, um, but I get that they do have a lot of active energy. 
and they do like classes or they connect with people and they you know do sport together they like to engage in activities um, and they like to socialize so for them it's going to be important to combine the two so don't be surprised if they end up taking you on some very like active dates um, or some very like out of out of the norm dates because that's where they're fun is that's probably their definition of fun um but i think you'll enjoy it i think you'll like where where that takes you it'll take you out of your comfort zone and push you a little bit out of that um that sign could also be that when you do connect they may have recently moved or will move um, like to your city to your country and maybe to a new home it could be that they had something new in their life that involved them taking some sort of action. So that's that's symbolic of a newness that they may have had around their life. Um, also with that Ace of Cups, it could also be another new chapter um, that is new around them at the time of your meeting or at the time of your relationship. This tells me that they're traditional and religious and they probably want engagement and marriage or remarriage. Again, it's it's a messenger or it's like the hand of God. So I really feel like spirituality is coming up um, or they're finding their religion. They're finding themselves to be more spiritual um, as they age or as they go through whatever the hangman is giving them um, as well. So strong faith, strong religion. Um, there may be a love for water here or drinking. Okay. So it's that cup. So it could be like going out and drinking, meeting clients. It could be like a social drinker. Um, it may be that they love to go swimming. They like to be by the water. They live by the water. They enjoy water activities. So, um, a love for the water is there. Or, you know, maybe they just like going, by walks to the to the near the local lake or river um, or they take their boat out every summer you know they've got they've got a beach home they've got a lake house it could be that um that as well so the worldly card the world card okay so they could be connected to the world somehow so they may work for a large company it could be like social media it could be a company where it's based all over the world it could be that they work in imports, exports, tourism. They could have dif distinct, very distinct features like a bit of this, a bit of that, like almond eyes, small lips or big lips, um, dark hair, but very light skin. It's like a mixed or a contrasting kind of um, contrasting kind of features that they may have had. Also could be very well traveled. And I did mention bilingual or possibly multilingual. They've done something that's taken them far and wide, like they might have had to go overseas to sign a contract, or maybe they took a gap year and traveled the world. Maybe they studied overseas in a different city or state. Like I feel like with the world card, this is tying into their energy where they're a bit of a nomad. Um, they like to get around. They like to see different places. It could also be that they're very like, but at the same time, I get like it's an it's a sophisticated kind of worldly which I think you're going to be very attracted to. It's a sophisticated kind of energy. They might also be wrapping up or completing something um, in their life right now, like a book, uh, a project, a contract, a work thing, um, something that's sort of gone on in, in their life and they're sort of wrapping it up because the world is like closure. So yeah they're they're wrapping up that sort of um they're wrapping up that sort of situation here with the uh with the world card but there is a love of um a love of seeing new places new places new faces and i feel like they're very attracted to different cultures and different people so they're very drawn to like they may love um asian cuisine and then but they you know they may like to eat Asian cuisine out but then they like to cook Mexican food at home or um that their parents taught them traditional European food and then there's like this other native dish it's like they know like a little bit of everything type thing so they're a bit of a chameleon um I would say but again the world is telling me that they could be destined for fame uh maybe they went on tour or maybe they will go on tour um it's like they're destined for people to see them and know them uh, for their talents and, and, and what they bring to the world.
Okay, they also have the Eight of Wands, so Sagittarius energy. Um, Eight of Wands tells me again, okay, they're quite active. There's a strong attraction here as well that I'm seeing. So you will be very attracted to this person. Um, this is the Arrows of Love. So the two of you will have really strong chemistry. I also feel like this person could be well endowed. Um, there's the possibility of having like this crazy intimate life together uh, that could bring you on the move a lot. Um, they could also be very direct. Uh, so they're not someone who sort, sort of beats around the bush. They tell it like it is. They also have that Queen of Swords. So I feel like if there's something they need to say, they'll say it to your face. They won't sort of, they won't be a coward. They won't sort of, you know, um, nag about it behind your back. They'll they'll tell it to you straight. Um, they'll give it to you straight without having to sort of disguise it type thing. So I feel like they could even be like abrupt at times, like speak with no filter. You're know, like, whoa, okay, did they just say that? Um, as well but it says to me that they're committed and anything they sort of set their mind to they have to finish it so it's not like someone who starts something and then abandons it halfway through or doesn't believe they can continue on with it this is someone that like when they see something or when they go after something they have to complete it all the way there is no sort of like half completions or um doing tasks, like half doing tasks. It's about completing things from start to finish um, is what I'm getting. Also have the six of one. So again, this is success and triumph. So it could be someone who is quite successful um, in terms of their career, um, in terms of what they do. Um, they may be known for being immensely successful here um strong fire energy as well this 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 notion of status is coming up so there's something very prestigious like they may have a doctorate um they may be going to uni they may have something attached to their name that makes them elite or prestigious like or like a certain kind of caliber so again this is tying into that overall classy kind of sophisticated energy that's coming up next to them so i'm not surprised Um, especially about like I feel like this person is very conscious about their clothes like they're always like clean cut um, everything's ironed their hair's done nicely they present themselves immaculately um, and I feel like there may even be a love for the outdoors and, and, and animals as well and, and walking and hiking and anything that sort of gets them outside with nature there could be a real love for nature um, gardening they could have a bit of a green thumb here landscaping but I feel like they could be quite outdoorsy, like I mentioned, um, near the water here as well, maybe. Okay, so for some of you, this person might have like strawberry blonde or red hair. It could even be they have dark hair, but they may have like a red tinge to it that they've added artificially, or it's like they're from the sun. Um, I feel like I said they have very mixed features, so if they're mixed heritage, they've got like certain eye shape, um, but certain hair thickness um, and certain skin complexion. And it's almost like it's a mix. So I'm do, I am do get like it's a mixed race kind of energy or like a mixed features um, looking person. So I feel like they could be quite voluptuous or stocky, potentially not overweight, but it's like probably not like a super thin. Um, it could be bulky because of weights or they could just be stocky because of a sport they do or it's just their frame, but they're well built um, is what I'm getting from this person. Um, and even if it's a woman, you know, these voluptuous, very feminine Venus-like energy because of that Taurus, um, because of that King of Pentacles energy, that's what that's bringing in. Um, but strong attraction. There could be some light colored eyes, but again, it would contrast with the hair and the skin maybe. Um... I'm seeing a few points here, like the points in the devil's horn, the points in the horns of the thing. So um, the, the, the the throne of the king of pentacles. So like pointy features, a pointed nose, pointed chin maybe. Some of you could be like pointed ears, um, like very arched eyebrows even. There's like certain like sharper angles to their face somehow here as well. So um, very interesting, um, but I'm getting a little bit older.
maybe not by too much, but more older than um, younger here for you earth signs. So I will leave it there. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. Um, I do hope to be in touch again very soon. But in the meantime, feel free to drop a like and please subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign or your element. Um, if you'd like to sign up for membership, I do have extended versions coming out, which you'll get access to if you pay a monthly fee. You can cancel at any time. Um, otherwise, uh, I'll leave it there. Thank you, everyone. Much love and bye for now.